In the meantime, the Sixers are getting ready to honor Kobe Bryant at tonight's game. Dan Koop is live at the Wells Fargo Center with the pregame plans. Hi, Dan. Hey, Jess. Hey, Yuki. That's right. The Sixers' first game since the passing of Red Brown. We've been out here on the court for about two hours, which includes Joel Embiid, who for the first time in some time is available to play tonight. He has been cleared medically to play with his injured left ring finger. You see the bracing he has on there. He, amongst other players, with messages written on their shoes tonight, which include Ben Simmons and Tobias Harris, messages to Kobe Bryant and to Gigi Bryant. A short time ago, Brett Brown talked about how his team will honor Kobe Kobe's memory tonight. Coming into tonight to win, and I think that that's probably the greatest, uh, in my opinion, tribute you can pay to such an amazing competitor. And I I'm going to coach with that spirit. Back out here live, Joel Embiid in the corner. We did just speak to Warriors head coach Steve Kerr a short time ago, who of course played against Kobe, coached against Kobe. He said it's appropriate that they will be playing this game tonight. D'Angelo Russell, who played on the Los Angeles Lakers as a teammate of Kobe Bryant, is available. He will play, as will all of the available Sixers as well. Pre-game ceremony for Kobe Bryant expected to go off around 7.02. We'll of course bring you everything about it coming up later tonight at 10 and 11. We're live tonight at Wells Fargo Center, Dan Coop, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.